I just wanted to um, tell you guys that right now I'm so happy because I feel like everything that I had <clears throat> set out to accomplish, I feel like my career, my goals, my vision, I have been on this continuous journey for a really long time to find out what I want to do, to I guess be placed in the right um, position. Yeah, I don't know how to say what I'm trying to say, but I have a certain goal in life, and the goal doesn't have words to define it. It's a goal that lives in my heart, kind of. Well, no, it definitely lives in my heart. I just feel like what I'm supposed to be doing, I'm doing, I'm accomplishing. And I have been on this path for a while, not really knowing where it's supposed to take me, but knowing where my heart is every step of the way. Not giving up on myself, not going backwards. Well, there have been occasions where I've went backwards, which is why it's so important right now that I keep steady with my focus in terms of where I'm going. I want to tell y'all that if there's something that you set out to do, you have a goal that you want to achieve, you have to aim high. And when I say aim high, don't think that anything is impossible for you. Everything is possible. Everybody in every position got there some way. I didn't give myself the best of what I could have given myself. And I finally got to a point where I know that I'm not taking failure for an answer. I'm not allowing shortcomings. I'm not allowing myself not to be the best I can be. I'm not allowing myself not to work to the best of my ability. And because of that, I'm getting to the places that I feel comfortable being, happy, profitable. So, you know. Um, with that being said, there are people that are not going to understand where you're going in life. There's certain motivations that you have to use, whether negative or positive. There are people that are going to support you. That's that's positive motivation. There's people who are not going to support you and are going to actually hope for your failure. That's negative motivation. You know, your negativity forces me to go even harder in succeeding at what I have set out to do. Because you're so set on hoping that I don't make it that you take away from your own energy to make it yourself. So then I would have to feel blessed that I don't have time to harbor on your negative energy, but I can use it to motivate me. This is dangerous territory right here. And um, it's a sweet danger. It's a sweet danger. So I just wanted to say everybody in life, don't let nobody hold you down. Okay? Oh, and as far as getting into specifically, like, what's going on and what I'm doing, truthfully, like, I love y'all. I don't want to say, like, I don't want to just lead y'all on and throw it like, oh, she ain't even want to tell me what she doing. But I don't want to jinx the situation in a way that you just don't speak about everything. Season of silence. Like, you just got to let some things happen before you speak on them, before they come to pass. Some people expect a lot, and... You know, what they might expect might not be exactly what you had in mind to give them. So, I'm just thankful to be where I'm at. I'm blessed to be where I am. I'm going to recognize it not as I arrived, but that I'm moving towards the point where I can do what I feel like I need to do on this earth. So, if anyone else is there, I support you in that. And go hard for yours. Or just go. Just go. You have a great bootlegging day. And as a little bonus, I'm going to leave you just with a little short, little musical number for myself. I mean, it really has nothing to do with what's going on here. I can't even remember if it does because I don't know which little track I'm going to choose. But I'm going to leave you with some kind of musical thing. Here it goes.